Hello, I'll be talking today about neuro rehab. So what is neuro rehab? So when we hear the word, so the first thing that comes is the, for the patients who have suffered from stroke, traumatic brain injury, or who are having any brain tumors, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, Guillain-Barre syndrome, there is no end to it. There are numerous neurological conditions which can affect the patient and any nerve related conditions, it's a long term care which is involved. So neuro rehab, when, it, when we say it is not like, okay, well, uh, he is taking, uh, somebody is visiting home and giving the therapy, so he is doing it, but still there is no recovery. No, when we are saying a word rehab, it means the complete rehab rehab which may be consciousness to cognition to functional communication to the mobility also addressing the other bowel bladder chest urinary related or the sexual issues which are related to all these conditions so when i say that these patients uh, need all these uh, functional communication mobility related training and everything that means a multidisciplinary team is involved in their complete rehab so why is the multidisciplinary team required and what are these multidisciplinary team comprised of? Why it is required? Because many of these neuro related conditions, they may be on additional tubes, what we can say, like a Ryle's tube, the feeding tube, which goes through the nose, or the tracheostomy, where it is uh, the breathing pattern is from the tracheostomy side, or they may be on a peg feed, uh, which is uh, near the stomach area, when RT feed is not, uh, Ryle's tube feeding is not recommended, peg feed is put or they may be on an indwelling catheter. All these are extra attachments and as long as all these extra attachments are there to the body, there is always a recurrent chance of infection or the tube might get blocked. So recurrent visit to the hospital later on. The sooner we get rid of all of these would help the patient to actual recovery. So all these infections will put the patient one step backwards always of whatever they have gained towards the recovery. So that like takes an extra say one or two weeks time or say one month to two months time. So that is a loss for a patient or the patient's caretaker also. All these things can be avoided when we are treating in a multidisciplinary setup. So the multidisciplinary setup includes a physiatrist, a medical professional who is trained in physical medicine and rehabilitation and addresses the medical issues of the patient. It may be a simple uh, tracheostomy downsizing to decandlation. It can be pain related issues like lot of these stroke patients have shoulder pain issues they will not be able to lift the hand though they have the power because of the shoulder pain all these things can be addressed by the medical person and a repeated monitoring of the medications to avoid recurrent strokes that also becomes Im equally important because once a recurrent stroke is there the recovery becomes even more delayed all these things and also if the patient is not conscious enough how can some medications when we add to it how can the consciousness level come back and or if the patient has too much of tightness or what we say spasticity in the medical terminology how to reduce it through medications or through injections called botulinum toxin injections or it would require additional splinting or when is the right time to get the surgery done all these aspects will be decided by the physiatrist and the multidisciplinary team also would involve people like psychologists to support the family and the caretaker the nursing team who are very much involved in the daily care of the uh, a patient and they teach the patient's caretaker how to go forward after discharge from the hospital. The physical therapist team who focuses on the mobility related issues of the patient to make sure that the patient is not bed bound. The occupational therapy team which involves in the daily basic activities. It may sound simple like turning on the bed or sitting from the lying down position like say brushing on uh, their own. All these may sound simple but when the patient has got affected by these, these simple tasks look like a mountain for them. Also speech language pathologist who will focus on the swallowing 
and speech related issues when we say speech there may be multiple varieties of affected uh, conditions when it affects the left half of the brain there are different speech issues when the condition affects the right half of the brain there are different speech issues all these things when we are assessing or examining and then taking a combined call like what should be the protocol for this particular patient it helps in a long way for the recovery of the patient so whatever lo uh, the long term care what goes it can be shortened to a great extent and we can help the patient and also the caretaker to come back to their life so at aster hospital we have the entire team who will take care of the neuro any neurological affected patients like let it be bed bound patient or they may be walking patient but not walking properly they may have a different format of walking or they may have recurrent falls all these things we can address we have the entire infrastructure set up we have the adequate manpower who will be taking care of all the necessary requirements of the patient and training the patient so if it requires a very long term care how to plan for the home based care also we would be able to to chat so i am dr sumalata who will be heading the uh, rehab team over here i am specialized in physical medicine and rehabilitation i have done my mbbs and then md in this specialization <laughs>